Hello and welcome to this video about how to change a bottom entry fill valve. The one we've got here is filling up really, really slowly and if we look in the top we can also see that it's the old ball valve and arm type which are quite out of date these days. What we're going to do is change it over for the Flush King fill valve. This is a fully adjustable one and it also has the addition of a brass shank on the bottom which means it's a lot more stronger at the bottom and it's a lot easier to tighten up without the risk of crossing over a thread. If we look at the valve itself we have our bottom nut here to seal it. We've got a coned rubber washer here, which means that it's really versatile when it comes to fitting in the hole of the toilet. It's also got adjustable height with a locking collar round on here that we can lock in position like that. We've got an adjustable ball valve here that will adjust up and down on this arm there. The best thing about these is they've got a lovely silent fill because the water fills up at the bottom. They're really, really smooth. They fill up at full speed all the way right up to the top bit, which means your toilet fills up even quicker. And they're so adjustable, it means that if you think you're using too much water, especially if you use it in conjunction with one of their flush units, you can save quite a lot of money on your water bills as well. So let's see how we can fit this now. It's really, really easy. It shouldn't take you more than a quarter of an hour. So follow our instructions and I hope you enjoy our video. So we've just flushed the loo and as you can see, it's filling up really, really slowly and we've got this old ball valve type here. What we need to do firstly is go down to the bottom, find your fill valve and turn that off. You might find that the valve for the water supply to the toilet is elsewhere, but we're lucky here because it's right where we need it to be. Now we've got the water supply turned off, all we need to do is flush the loo like we've just done now and then use a towel to towel out the rest of the water before we move on to the next stage. Just squeeze that into your toilet like so. Now we've soaked out all the water out here, we can then pop a towel underneath the valve that we're going to replace and even a small tub as well just to catch any water. Now all we need to do is undo our feed pipe with an adjustable spanner. Sometimes you'll need to hold the body of the valve as well while you do this if it's really tight. But fortunately we're okay. And you'll have a little bit of water out but fortunately we're catching that all in our lovely tub down here. So now all we need to do is use an adjustable spanner on here and undo this nut here. Once we've got this wound off, we should be able to remove our whole valve. Now we should be able to just lift our valve out like so. Now what I usually do is I undo the nut off the bottom here and then I actually pop in our valve before we fully tighten it up. The reason I do this is because then I can see what kind of heights I want, see where my valve is going to stop and what the water level is going to be and then whip it out again and adjust it to the height that I would like it. To be honest I'm pretty happy with that already but if I did want to change it these are such easy fill valves to adjust it's no real trouble at all. But I'm happy with it there so I'm just going to pop it back in the loo now to make sure it goes past that button quite nicely and down through our hole. Always make sure that the seat that the rubber washer is going to be going to on the bottom of the toilet is nice and clean so it can get a great seal. Now all we need to do is pop this new nut back on our brass shank at the bottom, tighten that up, re-tighten up our water supply and re-switch it on and then test for leaks and also test for what the water level is going to be like and whether we need to adjust it or not. Make sure before you fully tighten it up that the body is pointing in the right direction and is unobstructed. Now all we need to do is grab our adjustables again and tighten this nut up. But you really shouldn't need to tighten it up too much because it's got a lovely rubber washer on the bottom of it. Now all you need to do is reseal the water connection and make sure that we've got a nice watertight seal. With this sort of thing it's really really simple and you shouldn't find it too difficult. So let's redo up the water connection now and turn the water back on. So let's test it now. As you can see it's filling up nice and quick. Now we can see how quickly and easily these valves shut off. So before you finish make sure you've got no leaks on the bottom and everything should just be fine. I'll just pop this lid back on here. So there we go, that's how you change a bottom entry fill valve for a brass shanked fill valve with a quick fill and a quick stop. Flush King do make different types of bottom entry fill valve. They do a plastic shanked one and they also do one that doesn't have the main adjustment at the bottom but still has the adjustment on the ball float. I hope you've enjoyed today's video and it's given you a better idea of how to change your bottom entry fill valve and thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.